Oh my goodness! Good timing! Two to one. If you haven't seen the matches, head back and see them. Blind, what have we got? Take it away. So we got an NSL Nations Cup Grand Finals between France and Finland. Finland in the lead, two one right now, and we see Finland is spawning up in pipeline, assisting the way to Nanogrid, and the Marines up with a two to one split. Now, is it, it in the previous game we saw uh, the French, the the whoa, who, who, which, who's on which team? We saw the. Uh, <laughs> the French alien team try to take Nano from sub, is it easier to take it from pipeline or harder? Um, it's definitely easier right now with the new veil changes, but it still takes I think two or three more sits to get there. But it's still okay. I mean it's it's complete it's viable now. So and that's the important part. Okay. Solar with the with the uh, the clogs trying to secure the nano group position. Now the harvesters are on their way. There's one Marine, Darms, who's looking a little bit dangerous coming down, but uh, Eagle Eye and Ray also pressuring down to East Junction. They might be able to cut off reinforcements. Nate is coming in there. He's going to want to be able to do some damage. Gets the Parasite into Ray. The Drifter is in position. Definitely not going to be able to drop C12 yet because the aliens, because the Marines are all over it. Yeah, would instantly lose it. Look at that. Five Skulks are gathering up for this. We'll definitely take out this Marine pressure. Eagle Eye completely swamped. Not a single alien going down, but at the same time, with two marines sneaking up the way into cargo, then they will find an unfinished harvest or easy kill for them. Oh, what a fantastic thing for them to find. The aliens will be kicking themselves. It's just not fun to lose a harvest that early in the game. Uh, they probably realize the aliens are going for Nano because they will have seen the Sis chain. So, can the aliens maintain it? We had a huge monster 30 minute game involving trading for Nano in the last game. Take it to 2-1 for the Finns, which is unexpected, isn't it? We were expecting the French to uh, to be winning. Where are we blind? Oh, look at the minimap. They're losing so many RTs right now. Overlook, Skylights, Topo get picked. Um, France losing a lot of RTs. And it looks a little bit like the last game, you know, where the aliens had the early game. I'm still not quite sure who's taking the lead here. And if um, Team France will go for a faster phase get than the Finns did. That was some great combat with Heracles. He had a chance to take down all of those Skulls himself. Tain was in such low health. He was not successful in doing so, but it came damn close. That would have been an amazing play. That would have been replay, replay. <laughs> Llama is uh, absolutely annihilated. I didn't realize you could actually attack Skulks from, from the bottom of that ramp there. Is that a new thing? Maybe a bit of railing's been removed? I don't know. Uh, from where? Uh, we is attacking subsector. So you, oh, there's a lot of pressure on the marine extractors right now. Yeah, Marines try to stabil uh, they stabilize themselves now, sitting on 5. All the Skarks here on the west side of the map are dead right now, which gives them a little bit more breathing time. Only Top was a little bit exposed to Lama right now, but he's going opting to go for the Marine from behind, which is pretty nice as a teamwork. So the big question is um, how France will dictate this matchup. As the Marines, they are dictating in the early game, and how this game will evolve, and how this will Turn up so the biggest impact right now has a rise in the chair. What will Rias do? Great kill from Wii on the Skylights Extractor. Uh, no phases, obviously, it's very early in the game, 3 minutes 30 seconds. So they won't be really be able to secure cargo. They have Darms in there right now. He's, he's holding position, putting himself up on the crates where he's going to be able to shoot any aliens that might come in here and try and take the harvester. Llama getting stuck somewhere. Oh! Big, big problem for Darms right now. He's shooting at multiple aliens coming at him. His, his little defensive position did not last long. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at the same time, like last time when it went a big group play, they are losing C12 right now because all the aliens up in cargo, they will take too long to get here. Harvester already down. Even if they kill the Marines, the damage has been dealt. Down to three RTs. And the more they lose, um, Worse the situation gets, they need to get cargo up at one point in time. They do have the resources now, 56 is, um, in total, and they don't have forge tunnels, which is kind of baffling me. You know, what Finland could try to do is the same like France tried, but closely failed, really close, is get a forge tunnel up in Nanogrid, because this is such an important piece of the map. Um, it might even be stronger than having a forge tunnel in cargo. Nano Grid is copying it right now from multiple Marines. The aliens didn't need to react to this. They don't want to lose these harvesters. They reduce their resource flow. They've, made, they've invested a lot of team resources in putting this up. 
using it not an option. You can see the entire team reacting right now to try and take this down. And they do so. Take down that marine pressure. Dams bailing out. His buddies are dead. Dams again on his own. He seems to be popping it quite a bit in this game. Bane poking down a subsect to see what's going on. Sub really and the... Yeah, I'm wondering about when they will drop cargo. They're just listing up. There's no drifter closely. I, I would love to see a drift on system, or at least in White Junction. They need to know when Moraines enter cargo. That was happened twice unnoticed. Here's the half hive drop finally. And still no drifter, which is really important to get scouting up. You need to know when the Moraines are pushing in. Push they are in system waypointing. Lama retreating after scouting on the scan is down to warn these marines of incoming. The phase gate has been dropped in system waypointing. A phase gate in here will allow the marines to control subsector and overlook and push into cargo. But the aliens have got something to say about this. Need to be careful with these lurks. They're on very low health. Lama's on very low health. Nate flying very close to the flame there. Ingo comes in. The phase gate is still there. Oh, Nate, be careful. He's gonna be okay. Oh yeah, both Lurks has to pull out here. And it was really great timing on denying that phase gate. Only one Marine left. If they group up, they can still take him. Two Marines in total now. Because the longer this phase gate takes to get up, the longer the Marines are in the back. Look at that, down to three extractors only. They need this phase gate really desperately. This will only exactly the same happen last game. As soon as Finland got t um, the dome up, this crucial key point. Right now it's just a point, the, the mirrored side of the map. Um, the game completely shifts around. Now the phase gate is up, let's see what happens now. So with these, uh, with this phase up, then notice that those reinforcing, those reinforcing marines, the first thing they did was drop a whole bunch of mines around that phase gate, because they know how crucial it is. Pressure nano, double crags up, healing those, uh, harvesters up, mitigating the amount of damage these marines can do in here. These two lurks, so crucial at the moment, Nate and Lava, but they're consistently putting themselves in a lot of danger. I'm a little bit worried about it because one of them dropping would seriously reduce the combat effectiveness of this team. Wow, but this is some great lurking by those two. Lama and Nate, this is exceptionally impressive lurk play. Um, taking down four Marines. Um, that was really amazing. Also, the crack, those double cracks really helped out in getting the lurks really healed up. And they really used this vents, both vents, really good. I love that. Love to watch this. <laughs> Blind likes, thumbs up. <laughs> like, like. Cargo, uh, cargo is being protected by a couple of Hydras and this Crag. The Crag could actually go down here, which would make it a great blow for Heracles. It's like he does not. He's dead. Blood splattered all over the cargo deck. And now the pressure returns to Nano. I feel like the is being dictated by the Marines right now to a large degree. They have weapons level 1, armor level 1. No shotguns yet. These lurks still doing very well to keep the pressure off. And there's just no damage being done in here. Finally, one of the crags going down. That's the kind of damage they need to be doing. Take out these crags. Eagle Eye going at it with the axe. Llamas coming in from behind, swooping down on Eagle Eye and Kingyo. Whoa, he almost goes down there. Forced to turn around, and this combat happening in phase gate as well. Oh, both looks getting pretty low, except for the one. I think Finland did a slight mistake here. They let the Marines go inside Nano, and at the moment they are positioned inside, it's really hard to get them out. They realize too late what they can do. Go instead on the face gate system waypoint. They only had two aliens there, one Rook and a Skullock. If they had like three Skullocks on a face gate, they would force the Marines to come back, like pinch them back and forth, and just by that hold Nano for a long time, or even take down the Marines, because as soon as the face gate is down, no reinforcements will come in. Pressure on subsector at the moment is going to be difficult to maintain given the phase is still up in system waypointing. When the Marines have that much mobility in system waypointing, there's nothing really the aliens are going to be able to do in the long term in subsector. So this is this extractor kill is kind of not going to matter all that much. If they could take down two though, Overlook and subsector, then that would be a nice blow. And it looks like they actually do manage to do that. So the Marines down to four extractors. They are putting up Nano at the moment. They have put up Nano. It's amazing how quickly they the, the aliens and the marines traded Nano, and this is actually what happened in the previous game, isn't it, Blind? Nano was traded, giving the marines the advantage. Yeah, as soon as they got a face get up close to Nano, they can have an easier hold. It's really tough to hold Nano as alien when the face get is so close there. They have a gorge tunnel connecting cargo and pipeline, and I really would love to have gorge tunnel early on in Nano. I'm not sure if the game would have gone different, but um, the system waypoint. 
face game really keeps the Marine in the game. They lost a lot of RTs, rebuilding Overlord, rebuilding sub, but um, this is delaying it. I mean, the really important decisive matter will happen. How will the fates play? We have three fates on the field, two lurks, this is a ton of life arms. And interestingly enough, they went also for silence and not for adrenaline. Silence. Ooh, or, you know, when I'm playing a game against silence, it's just one of the most frustrating things in the world when you can't hear them. And I know these competitive players are much better than me, but if they if they if they feel the same way, oh, Soul of the Fade almost getting trapped there. The shotguns doing huge amounts of damage. The Drifter trying to mix things up, but the Marines holding with those shotguns. Yeah, and those clocks actually help the Marines because it's really tough as the Fade to get out of here. It can easily spell you death because it narrows your whole way. Uh, it was set up by yourself, so that's why the Marines are also not killing those clocks. They keep that up, that they're actually helping them versus the Fates right now. Mm. So Leap is on the way, Bylebomb is finished, we have tons of upgrades, they could also go for this Bylebomb push. But as long as they keep the Fates up, they can play strong, and Finland looks in a much better shape than France did as Alien last game. They do currently have three harvesters, which is not bad, but the Marines sitting on seven. There are ten extractors on this map, and French have just an outstanding amount of resources flowing into their coffers right now. Fade taking down the extractor in Skylights. Uh, as Fade is oh, Fade we down where? I just missed I, that. I don't know. I missed it as well. I was I was looking white junction and the base. I don't know where he died. There's just so much going on in this map right now, it's very hard to keep up. I bet even with both our cameras in different spots recording for different streams, we're missing a lot of cool stuff. It's almost you just want to watch the mini-map for the whole game instead. So you see, Ammo 2 is now on the way before Rapid 2, also interesting. I mean, versus a ton of life forms, I would personally prefer... Um, the weapon upgrade right now, but it's up to Rice. He wants the armor upgrade, which is cool against double lurk against the spikes. It helps a lot. So probably that's the thinking behind it. So they're not really scared of those fates, especially since after taking already one down, and even weapon one shotguns are dealing enough damage already if you can hit their shots. These fades doing what fades do best: rolling hit and runs in and out, in and out. As long as the marines have good shotgun. Uh, numbers, which they do have right now. They have five with shotguns out on the field, and it's going to be difficult for these fades to do a huge amount of damage. Watch and see if the Marine team does lose a couple of shotguns. If they do, they'll be in a bit of trouble. If the numbers of shotguns drop, then it's going to make it easier for these fades to move into an area and do damage and get out. So right now, the aliens are going for the RTs first. Um, Overlook down, Topo down, the sky that's getting hit, and what they're trying to achieve with that is not just killing RTs. The moment um, the Marines are all out of the map recapping, they can do mistakes. Just to try to force doing Team France to do a mistake. In the moment they have only two people left defend their gates, um, they can easily take down the waypointing. Like, for example, one is recapping Topo, one is an Overlook, one in the Skylight, or something along the lines, and then it gets really hard. If you really find a nice opening, look at that. Sister Vaporing right now. Three fates, so it's actually two fates and a skull. And another fate coming in. That's exactly what I waited for. But there's too many Marines available here. Two more streaming in from Nano, and they will be able to defend that. Yeah. The two shotgun wheeling Marines, Dams and Kingyo, came in, and it's crucial that they had shotguns. If they had rifles, that could have ended very difficultly. Advanced Armory is up. We could see grenades, flamers, um,. So we could see some more advanced weaponry coming out of the French side at the moment. They have the resources to do it. They've got five extractors. There's a lot of extractors to have. Their extractor position has been good for a long time. If you look at team resources, uh, they are comfortably above the end. It's a good ratio of three to two there. And the Olives are not too bad in the spot as well. I mean, they're only down to two fates. I'm not sure why V is not taking a fate T-Res. They have 110 resources in the bank. They could drop two fate eggs right now. I mean, one V should take one, I think. Unless he's just going dedicated to RT biting, which looks like he is right now. But even as a fate, you can do the same. And it's much more um, scary towards those Marines the more fates are in the field. Yeah, having 122 resources in the bank, that is a lot of resources, I mean, wow. I just dropped one Fadec, just to kind of afford one more. 
Um, what they can do is they can save up for PRS on us. Solar is already on 52 and Nate on 49 as well as Lama. If they can keep the current state of the game as it is long enough without losing enough life forms and keep killing our T's and um, preventing the Marines from getting 3-3 until the timing and hold those 3 RTs, maybe even get top of 4th one. Um, they can get some honors in the field by that just winning. Oh, lurk down, lurk down. Oh boy. And uh, those shot the, the damage the phase get was good, 37%. Those shotguns coming in just saying, uh uh, get out. Very well played. Yeah, definitely. I mean, losing those life forms is really not a good timing right now. Um, Topo is now on the way, they will go to 4 harvesters and also took down the power ins at Nano, so Marines are operating on just 4 extractors, considering we're playing on Vale where they had 7 already. I'm opening up the rescue rev right now, look at that and how much they dropped down. And this is exceptionally good gameplay by Finland on alien side. Hillgraf still tracking nice and even, trading 1 for 1 here. Must be a lot of skulks going down, because there aren't a num terrible number of fades going down. Three fades on the field right now. Solar, Tain, Llama, all with Blink, all with Carapace, all with Silence. Or Adrenaline. No, no Adrenaline. What am I talking about? They have a Shade Heart. <laughs> exactly. What am I smoking? What am I, I smoking? don't know, but I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> to improve your casting capacity, Max being used to repair system waypoint. He frees up Marines to go do more useful things like shoot aliens. That's cool. So it looks like Finland is really putting up the pressure towards the Marines. They, they have some max now in the field, they have a robo. But Peachum is really annoying, look at that, we have turret farm inside sub, but it's getting bomb. Look at all the damage he's dealing right now, everything is going down, even if he loses the Gorge right now. Oh, damn it! fade, fade. Chain down! Somewhere! I missed it. It was looking Peachum's cutie Gorge, and then we'll, I missed Tain as well. <laughs> Me too, mate, I missed it. Bummer. Well, I mean, they still have 80 resources in the bank. That's another fade act for free. And four harvesters act at once, so they can keep up the rest count, um, the fade count, which is pretty important. So the time is ticking 62 resources for Solar, which has the highest PRS account. Oh, and he just goes down as to talk about it. Oh. Oh, they have to watch out. Oh, my out. goodness. The last. Pain. Hmm? Yeah, they lost like three fades in like one minute or two. Yeah. Nate losing. Nate, sorry, has 61 resources. He's definitely tracking for Onos here. And Onos could be what they need to break this uh, this deadlock these two teams find themselves at right now. The Marines now with weapons level two. That's the thing though, the Marine upgrades are more granular than the alien ones. So this whole time while the aliens are sitting out for an Onos. The Marines are ticking up the upgrade tree. They've got weapons level 2. We could see armor or weapons level 3 next. And all the while, the aliens are static and, in fact, losing the occasional life form. So it's difficult. They still have three shotguns on the field, the Marines. So they're looking for the good. Make that two as Kingo goes down in Nano. Oh, there's tons of action all around the, the map. It's up in Overlook and Chopo. Nano power is going down. But Finland is playing so good as Elin right now from the situation and really carrying themselves over to that Anas play. And it, it's not just one Anas, they have three Anas saving up right now. And that would be devastating. We have Llama, Solar, and Nate. 68, 65, 66. Four fades on the field now. They're really maximizing the use of their three halves very effectively. Uh, so their life form composition is, is slow, is, is going to some degree trading off against the fact that Marines are ticking up the upgrade tree right now with those weapon and armor upgrades. Yep, they have to watch out not to lose the phases right now though, because they are out of resources, they spend everything on replenishing those fades. If they lose another two phases right now, this can go really bad just before they get those honors in the field. So it's up for friends. In nano grid, this fight, they need oh, to take Lama. down some fades. Oh, they can't do it, even with the max support. All those marines are dead. They've lost some shotties. Which isn't a small thing. I mean, they're sitting on five extractors, so their personal resource flow is quite good. Here comes pressure on this fade gate. It's, becoming, it's a meat gate. I don't think, I think he's going to be able to get through this. Four fades on it. The, the fade gate could go down right now, and if it does, the map mobility for the marines is going to be cut off severely, and the flow could move through to subsector. This is, this is a huge moment. Oh, definitely. 
we had two Marines out the field, one actually in cargo, one is in pipeline. Well, actually, it was it Ray? He used the Gorge Shell, I'm not sure. He was killing upgrades, killed the Carapace Shell inside Pipeline under this pile of clocks. But, um, well, losing system, losing nano grid is so much more crucial. And God, why is my game crashing again? What the hell is oh, going no. on? What the <laughs> fuck? Sorry. Oh no. I didn't say that. No. He said the bad word. He said the bad word. I had word. to. All right, guys, I'll, let you, I'll do radio NS2 HD right now while Blind gets us back online. The extractors in Nanogrid are being finished off by Solo, Wii, and Llama. It feels like the aliens do have a bit of momentum right now. Phase Gate is back up in system waypointing, though. The Marines have raised up straight away. They've put a blocking armory at the base of Wire Junction. They perhaps sense imminent Onos. No one has gone Onos yet. Solo 75, Llama 72, Nate 73. Uh, Nanogrid is being grown up as an alien location. Now there's two harvests just been dropped with two supporting crags. There are fades messing around in system waypointing, but I don't think they're going to be able to take down Eagle Eye, Ray, and Dams, and King Yo. The Marine team filtering through the fades gate to pro. Oh, fade down, fade down. We have Llama the fade dead, and I wouldn't be surprised if he just stays Skulk now and then goes Onos in just two more resource ticks. So it, it might have actually been sort of appropriate that he goes down there because it frees up his life form to go Onos. Uh, so he's on 74 now. Still pressure on system waypointing, but nothing too serious, nothing out of control. Nate pressing uh, the Marines back from Nanogrid using spikes. Elsewhere on the map we've got a little bit of RT biting, but um, nothing really of note. The Fades, uh, they're not rolling in a pack right now. They're all over the place. They're moving around. Heracles and Eagle Eye making... Uh, make, they're, they're, they are pressuring towards Nanogrid, though, so we could have pressure in there very soon. Carapace Shell has been started because the Carapace Shell went down. I missed that. But so there's a bit of churn on the alien upgrade side as well. Llama has just popped as an Onos. He's currently down near Cargo. Looks like he's pausing, just chilling, waiting for the plan. But the alien team is entirely distributed right now. Pressure on control up the north side of the map is being pushed away very quickly. The, the Marines have a lot of shotguns. So every time these fades pop their heads up anywhere, they're encountering a whole bunch of shotguns and they're being pushed back very, very quickly. The pressure on system waypointing right now is nothing the Marines can't handle. But the Onos, Llama, he is sneaking. He's crouch walking very slowly towards system waiting pointing. I really don't think he wants to be seen, um, but it looks like he's going to come from behind via, via Nano Grid, via the Nano Grid direction. He's crouch walking, and all the aliens seem to be converging on his location right now, so we could see huge pressure right now. He's avoiding the block armory that is uh, between system waypointing and cargo. Uh, he's holding, still holding. A second armory block has gone down, though, so if he's going to move, he really needs to move now. Uh, he's going to be blocked. Pinchim's trying to bile bomb it, but somehow... Th there, he's been spotted. Dams has spotted Llama, the Onos, the gig is up, and the spidey sense and back. from the Marine Commander was huge. Drop that armory just in time. Wow, it's really crucial to hold up system waypoint and need to get rid of those Onoses, and for that they need jetpacks. And that's exactly what's on the way right now, but will it be just in time? The Onos is marching on the face gate now, Llama. Would be curious why they only use one for the moment. But it could have more, but it's sufficient, and I think that's it. That might be it, do you reckon? Do you reckon this Onos is going to be the key that uh, that unlocks the win lock? The win lock. But they keep fighting. I mean, they have still jetpacks. They have it finished now. If they can kill those Onos, they know they could come back to this. The Onos is retreating from system waypointing at the moment. The Marines coming back with the Vengeance, they could re-drop here. They're only on three extractors though. The aliens are starting to encroach all over the map right now. Oh, maybe this is a good time for Lonely Fate or something to take down RTs now in the back and overlook. Five Marines in the system, you clearly do not want to gauge just like Tane. You almost went down with a Fate. You have to be careful now. You cannot engage in that open room with five jetpackers in there. Even when it's just weapon 2, not weapon 3, it deals so much damage. We need to wait until those Marines are split amongst the map again, like scattering, like one in Overlook, one in West. Which is happening right now, there's Ray going to Overlook. Some Marines here killing a face, all are going down. Well, the, the aliens, they have these Marines contained. Uh, at least to the western side of the map, but they're not actually killing them. Llama, the Onos, not making a, a, as much of a dent 
in the Marine presence as he might have hoped. We're now at 24 minutes, 42 seconds in this match. It's it, it doesn't feel like there's momentum in either direction. There's a little bit of pressure on control. Nothing to serious. There's a dead gorge up there. Oh, they're really. I mean, Nate is on 100 resources. He will not get any more resources right now. Every, every rest he gets is Oh, there we go. Finally, he's leaving his lurk. He's going on us, which is really important. They need to go for a massive blast in there. And Sola, I think, as well. Three on us will strike the target. And. It could be very well one of those go down if the Marine focus fires, but if they're not watching out and there's only like one two Marines in that moment in the system, it could go terribly wrong. There's a little bit of pressure behind the Marine line. If you were, if you were to draw a red line on the map as it were, you'd, you go sub-sector into system waypointing and across to control via skylights. But the aliens are pressuring behind the lines, they're putting a little bit of damage down on the Overlook Extractor, keeping the Marines fighting on their turf, they don't want them to break out, do anything nasty. The Marines do have a long way to go in their tech tree though, they could go weapons level 3, armor level 3, exosuits, jetpacks, all that stuff is still oh, coming because the aliens are kind of maxed out. Oh look at system, here we go, all three on us are charging in! Triple on us! One is cast out, Lamas working against the armory, but two on us made their way down, there was no block in the south side, just a ghosted armory and the face gate is down! Oh my goodness, boom, 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 these Onai, it's just such a pleasure to watch multiple Onai <laughs> terrorize a bunch of Marines, you don't see it that, that often in a competitive game, and when it happens, it's immense, it really is immense, this gate is just an absolute meat grinder right now, anything that comes through it gets an Onos tusk to the face, and there it is, the French GG it, the Finns take it to 3-1 oh, in this station. best of seven attack. series. They have a match point in the bag right now. Can they take it? I don't know if they'll continue to play tonight, given the extreme uh, lateness of the hour. But thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you all soon for more NS2HD videos. Oh my goodness, blind. Wow.